What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I have the July 2022 Battle Box. Kind of a smaller one this month, which is interesting, maybe the smallest one I've had. So if you're unfamiliar with Battle Box, the OG outdoors survival prepping subscription, really cool stuff every month, comes in four different levels. Uh, we're doing the biggest one here, but there's a basic box, it's around $30, an advanced box, it's around $60, a pro box is typically over $100, and then the big boy, the typically kind of a knife of the month box, which is the Pro Plus, and that uh, ends up around $160 or so. But uh, always lots of interesting stuff in Battle Box every month, one of my favorite ones to open up. So let's get this thing popped open and check this out and see what we have in this smaller than normal size box. So, oops, we gotta open two more seals here. Okay, here we go. As always, we have our mission brief right at the top. This is mission 89. Let's check it out. So you can see all the details in the card here. You can pause and look through stuff if you want. I'll take, let you take a quick look at things before I start opening stuff up. But we'll put this over to the side and get going with some basic items here. <laughs> Looks like we have some fun stuff. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at in the basic box over here on the left side of the page is the pocket shop with a scoop of ammo, apparently. Uh, let's see. All right, all right. That's this right here. So we have what appears to be kind of bonkers looking little slingshot. Uh, I guess the ammo may be inside the packaging here. Let's tear this open and see what we got. This is one of those weird things. Sometimes you get some weird stuff in these. Uh, it's kind of fun to try out and mess around with. So let's see. This thing definitely feels weird. So I guess it's kind of where you would pull out. Um, maybe it's unscrews. Yeah. All right. So this is what we got inside of here. We have kind of, I guess, a sack of ball bearings, uh, which you'd use to shoot with this. I'm guessing you probably grab some rocks and other stuff. Let's see. You know what? Why don't we read the mission brief, <laughs> which is always a good idea with this stuff. Okay, looking at the details, the pocket shot's patented design allows users to load and shoot different projectiles at two to three times the rate of a regular slingshot. Oh, so it's actually faster than a regular slingshot. Don't use BBs though, it says they're too small. Since you can pack it up, keep it uh, packed away in a box or glove compartment or something. 100% made in the USA too, which is cool. Wait, the icon on there is like a little strike icon, but also has a food icon. I guess because you could shoot stuff to eat technically? That's kind of funny. But okay, so I'm not going to load up a ball bearing right here and blow a hole in my wall inside the house where I'm filming. But um, what you may not think from looking at this is you may think, oh, this is kind of a cheap rubber or whatever. But this thing is... I mean, it has some serious resistance when you pull back on it. So uh, the idea is you drop the ball bearing or whatever you're using, maybe a tiny rock or something. You draw that back inside. You kind of loosely aim with your fingers and then pull this back and let go. Um, so that is going to be pretty fun to mess around with. I like that you can just kind of pack it down to. It doesn't weigh much or anything. It doesn't feel like look, you can step that all in there. The materials are actually stronger than I would expect from looking at it, but it weighs nothing. So you can throw this in a backpack just to goof off with around a campground. Don't shoot at anybody, obviously. No, that's kind of a fun item to get, especially in the basic box. You get one of the, what looks to be one of the most fun things in this box uh, this month down the basic level. So uh, pretty cool. So that is the pocket shot with the scoop of ammo. 25 bucks made in the USA. Pretty fun. We'll leave that out down here while we look at some other stuff. Uh, it's ironic, the next thing they give you is a Rescue Essentials Battle Bandage. So surely you wouldn't need this from messing with your pocket shot or having an accident with that. So um, now with this type of stuff, they typically, yeah, they typically have this all sealed up where it's sterile and everything. Uh, so I'm going to leave it that way for the sake of this video. So that way, uh, if I ever, God forbid, have to use this thing, um, it's ready to go. But let's take a look at the card here and learn a little bit more about it. So yeah, it's a battle bandage. It's a sterile bandage. It's stretchable. It has a compression wrap on it. Uh, clear, flexible, extremely strong. Six-year shelf life. Unique adhesive properties don't leave residue on the skin. That's cool. Not made with rubber latex. Made in the USA again. But it looks like it's an 8x8 gauze pad type thing. Good for hemorrhage control and that sort of thing. So what this is, if you're familiar with first aid stuff at all, uh, it's kind of similar, I would guess, to like an Israeli bandage, if you're familiar with those, uh, except that this looks a little bit larger. It can cover a larger area. So you have some instructions there on top, uh, if you can see over the kind of wrinkled vacuum pack packaging there. Uh, but it looks pretty simple to use. Again, this stuff, like, you may get these in a subscription and think, what am I going to do with this? But um, it's kind of the stuff you need to have that you'll just throw in a glove box or throw in your first aid kit. And then again, God forbid you ever actually have to use the thing. You have it and you have um, some serious first aid protection until you can get further help. So 
good item to get there. It says it's 1850, made in the USA. This stuff is expensive. I don't know why. I guess because the materials are good and it's uh, actually sterile and everything. Uh, but yeah, cool item there to have. Hopefully you won't have to use it along with your uh, pocket shot, but that's what we got. And then our last item here in the basic box is these Decibels custom molded earplugs. Uh, which I've actually heard some good stuff about these. Um, I don't have anything like this myself. I just have regular foam earplugs um, and then some electronic ones that I've used at the range before. But these are the kind, again, I'm not going to open this up until I actually use these, so you don't get to check these out in the video. But this is kind of what they look like. You can see here um, in the mission guide. But these are rated to 31 decibels. Uh, you heat them up and kind of melt them down. It's kind of like if you've ever used like a mouthpiece. Uh, with sports equipment where you heat it up and then bite down on it to get your teeth imprints on it. These work kind of a similar way where you get it warm and pliable and then fit it into your ear canal and it actually fully molds to it. So you don't have those little weird vacuum pockets where maybe some of your uh, ear canal is still exposed, uh, but it actually fills up that whole area to give you nice custom molded plugs. But that's really neat. And these are kind of uh, expensive to get. I mean, for what they are, it's 26 bucks uh, made in the USA, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so basically for almost the full cost of uh, the basic box, you get these, plus you get this other stuff, fun stuff too. So really good basic box this month for Mission 89. Uh, so let's check out what we have in our advanced box, which looks like we actually have a knife. And this is the Deadfish Company Winge Alpine Foldable Chef Knife. So let's see, there's our headlamp that we're going to look at later on. I think this is another knife that we get to look at. And here's our Deadfish. So let's lay this over to the side and use my other knife, lay it over here to kind of pop open the seal and see what we got. I'm not too familiar with this, although I feel like I've seen similar knives out there. Oh, that's bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, so yeah, there we have a big, I guess a foldable chef's knife. I'm not sure why you need a foldable one, but the wood looks nice. Um, really cool, natural, uh, grain and texture there. Oh, mine's almost kind of iridescent. I don't know if that's just how the light's hitting it here or not, but uh, let's see. Easy to pop open. That is a substantial, large, very choppy knife. So I guess if you have a camp kitchen, you want to throw something like this in a bag or even in your own kitchen. Uh, I'm surprised by how much sometimes I'll get like knives um, and stuff in these boxes that are intended for outdoor stuff but I actually end up using them at home for just random cooking and stuff. So this looks fairly nice. Uh, it's got a little liner lock on the inside, uh, pretty smooth action. I mean, this isn't like a fidgety knife that you're gonna be sitting around flipping around or anything, but yeah, for some big time chopping tasks and everything, it's what you got. looks pretty cool. Cool dead fish logo down there. Um, ironically, I guess you could use that as a lanyard hole if you want to, but uh, let's see if there's anything else to know about it in the guide before we move on. So we've got winge wood. It's an alpine foldable chef knife. It's very sharp, good looking, long lasting. It'll fit right in at home or the kitchen or outdoors. 5.5 inch blade uh, with a German 1.4116 stainless steel. So it looks like the other name for this wood is like an African rosewood too, but it is actually a, a fairly pretty knife uh, for what it is. So uh, not something I would have picked out for myself just because I don't think I have a tremendous amount of use for it, but you know what? Maybe I'm gonna throw this in the kitchen drawer and next time I'm Get some stuff ready for the grill or chopping up some stuff. This will come in handy, I'm sure. So interesting item there for the advanced box. That's the Dead Fish Company Winge Alpine Foldable Chef Knife. If I can get this thing back in the box, we'll kind of pop this over to the side. I don't know. How did this go? There we go. Good enough. All right, so we'll put this over to the side. And by the way, that was worth uh, $60 right there. So pretty neat. Uh, let's move on to the Pro Box here. So we have the Nikron H35 1000 Lumen Headlamp. Wow. Okay. So let's check this out here. Okay, so the mission brief said 1,000 lumens, but then on the box here we have 1,600 lumens. That's a really, really bright headlamp. So I actually have a pretty nice headlamp that I use all the time camping that I thought had a lot of light output, and I think it was like 400 lumens. So this is uh, pretty crazy, which is interesting. On the front here it says 1,600 lumens, and on the back it does say 1,000 lumens. So I don't know, maybe their packaging's a little off there, but looks like it has good battery runtime. High mode lasts two hours, the low mode 50 lumens, which is still pretty bright for a headlamp, runs 30 hours. That's great, rechargeable and everything. Uh, let's pop this open and take a closer look at it. I know you hate this thin plastic packaging. It looks really good and everything, but I feel like it's just waiting to slice your fingers open sometimes. It's not as bad as those blister packs, but something about this sort of packaging tends to make me nervous. I don't know what it is. All right, so let's pop out our, let's pop out the headlamp itself here. Um, it's got several straps. I noticed two in the back here. It's got uh, the full wraparound strap, and I think in the picture, 
over here from the battle guide, it's got uh, kind of a head strap over that too. So whichever way is your style for this sort of thing, it looks like it's ready to go. So let's see if there's anything. There's just more details about how it works here, how to put the battery in. Let's see if it comes with the battery already installed. Yep, so we got our battery in here right here. Let's pop it back in. Took the little piece of protective plastic off. Let's see if it comes charged at all. We have to charge this thing up the way these things go. Nice and tight. Let's see. Yeah. So it's flashing out of the box. That's cool. Let's see if I can change the different modes. It's got a red light on it. Um, different modes of red. Oh gosh, holy cow, I was looking right at that when I turned that on. That is insanely bright. And it's got kind of a flood lens on it and also um, a wider lens. Um, it looks like the UI, you just press and hold stuff to flip through things. Gosh, that's bright. I'll have to learn a little bit more about reading the details about how to turn off the different modes and everything, but uh, pretty cool. So that is the Nikron H35 twin engine headlamp. Let's put it back in its little package here and then we'll read some more details about it before we move on. 6990, uh, really strong little headlamp there. Gosh, my eyes are still completely red <laughs> from turning the high mode right on my face there. Sorry about that. I uh, can't read half of this right now. It says it's ready for adventure, has a bunch of different modes. Like I said, floodlight, spotlight, red light, um, cool options there. Never have too many headlamps or lighting options. Throw them in all your bags. Uh, really cool option there from the Pro Box this month. So let's flip towards what's always the most fun part of a Battle Box every month if you can get the big boy subscription, and that is the M3 Tactical M3 Force Recon. This is this month's knife of the month. 100% made in the USA, guys. That looks pretty cool. And that is a rad looking knife worth $189. That's one of the biggest knife values I've seen in Battle Box. So let's open this up. I don't know if I need other seals or anything. So here's the box M3 Tactical Tech Modern Mission Mobility. Let's see what we have. Kind of a Karambit style from looking at the mission guide over here. So let's see, it looks like we have like a Kydex sheath. Let's see if I can just pop this off. Yeah. All right, so look at this thing. We have a very aggressive blade here, kind of oiled up. Wow. That is a really nice looking blade. So this style of knife, this is more of a self-defense fighting knife, that sort of thing. Uh, so probably not something you're gonna use as the EDC knife, uh, but good to have in, uh, in a bug out bag or in a scenario where you want more high security. But this thing looks pretty vicious to be honest. Check out the jimping there on the back. Really interesting kind of a sideways wrap over pattern. Has, it's awfully oiled up. Let me see if I can wipe this off in some of the foam so you can get a better look at this thing on camera. Can't imagine making these videos how often I'm scared of <laughs> cutting myself live for your amusement on these unboxings. Pretty comfortable blade shape. Uh, it's obviously got the finger groove down there. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is self-defense kind of fighting knife, so you can hold it all sorts of different ways. Um, probably good to get some training if you ever plan to use this in a situation that's life or death or where you're defending yourself or your family. Uh, you probably want to get some practice with it. But the scales look like a nice... I think they're G10. Looks like they're removable too if you want to. Um, but man, this thing just feels really high quality. Let's see, we're gonna put it back in the sheath here for a second and then um, learn a little bit more about it here. All right, so we have CPM D2 blade steel, G10 handles, I was right about that. The overall length is 7.8 inches. The blade length is 3.375, Kydex sheath, and it's a Battle Box exclusive edition, so that's pretty cool. That is a pretty sick little tactical knife to get. Again, it's probably something that may be a little um, intimidating at first. <laughs> you see how that, that sheath just flew off of there. These things, especially, Gosh, as oiled up as this thing is, man, pulling it out is kind of terrifying. So always kind of push these sheaths off um, if you can. A really cool knife there from M3 Tactical. This is the M3 Force Recon, worth 190 bucks. Probably one of the highest value battle box knives I've seen again. Cool item there. So that's that's this month's box. This is Mission 89. So we have this crazy knife, this awesome lamp from Nikron. We've got the dead fish uh, chopping blade there. We've got some decibels, custom earbuds. Uh, this battle bandage and then this pocket shot thing, which actually looks like a ton of fun to go mess with. I'm going to goof off of this this weekend outside. We kind of back up to some wood, so it'd be fun to shoot at some trees and stuff like that. That's this month's box, so high value, really cool. If you want to get one of these subscriptions for yourself, Battle Box is a ton of fun to get, no matter what level you're at, whether it's Pro Plus or even just the basic box itself. As you can see, you get lots of um, fun every month. Sign up using the link on the screen or down in the description. You can save 15% on your subscription there. Definitely something that I think you'll have fun with and a really cool box to get every month. So there you have it. That's Mission 89. Hey, before you go, don't forget about our huge giveaway we have going on right now. When we hit 15,000 subscribers, which is getting really, really close, 
we're doing a big Rumpel giveaway. So $400 worth of awesome Rumpel gear. All you have to do to win is subscribe and be sure to like this video or comment or like or comment on any of my videos. Every time you do that, you'll get more chances to win as long as you're subscribed. But as soon as we hit 15,000 subs, we're gonna announce the winner and you don't wanna miss out on that. So make sure you be a part of it. All right, guys, that's it for this unboxing. Hey, if you dug this video, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more unboxings and stuff like this. We'll see you next time.